No dick is more important than you loving yourself. No dick is more important than you believing in yourself. No dick is more important than you be confident with the woman you want. No dick is more important than your mental health. No dick is more important than your happiness. No dick is more important than yourself because guess what? You are priority. The dick can be in the second, in the third, in the fifth, in the tenth position. Right? Do you know what is sweeter than dick? You loving yourself. You supporting yourself. You believing in yourself. You being confident with the woman that you are. And in this video, I'm, I'm going to perfectly tell you, Queen, things that are way more sweeter, way more important than dick. So listen, but listen good. Self-love is way more important than dick, right? Love yourself. Love. If you don't love yourself, that dick can become an addiction to you. Because you're going to be like, oh, if I have that dick, I love myself more. If I'm with this man, I'm powerful. I'm good enough. Self-love. Be perfectly okay with you being alone. Be perfectly okay with, no, with you not being in somebody's DMs. Because if you wake up every day, but you do things just to, to have the male's attention, just to be in that boy's DMs, just to be in that boy's car. What are you doing with your life, queen? Self-love. Learn to love yourself so you don't go around expecting other people to love you and expecting other people to make you happy or expecting that dick to give you the love you don't give to yourself. Self-love. Take care of yourself. Your mental health, your physical, your spiritual health, your financial health. Make yourself a priority before you thinking of fucking somebody. Before you thinking of being with that man, with that boy. Thinking. Think about how you can love yourself, how you can empower yourself, how you can educate yourself. Number one, sweeter than dick, is self-love. You loving yourself. You empowering yourself. You looking at yourself every single day and tell yourself that, Oh, I'm good enough. I'm powerful. I am a queen. But it's not enough for you to say, I'm good enough, if you are not going to behave as somebody who sees herself as good enough. Second thing, education, queen. St stop looking for ways to entertain yourself. Stop looking for that dick and start looking for ways to educate yourself. Read books. Listen to podcasts. The more you read, the better you can think, the better you can write. And you, and you need to be able to be able to think and to write so you can write your ideas, so you can express yourself, so you can express your thoughts, so you can express to the universe whatever it is that you want. You have to read because with reading, you're going to have your mind working out. You're going to have your mind training, your mind processing things. Be educated because if you are dumb, if you are stupid, that dick is going to manipulate you. It's going to use you. Because since you are dumb, you are stupid, well, anybody can come and tell you whatever and you're going to believe it. So again, read books. Educate yourself. You being dumb ain't no good for yourself. Educate yourself. And not only with books. You can educate yourself by, by going, by listening to yourself, to your body, by you learning from your mistakes, from your failures. But it's simple. You know how to read. You can go on, on YouTube and listen to audio books. There is plenty information. There is plenty ways you can educate yourself. Because an educated queen is a powerful queen. I'm going to say it again. An educated queen is a powerful queen. Third thing. Your physicality. Go to the gym, queen. That dick can wait. Go to the gym. Go to the gym. Go, 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 go. Take yourself to the gym. But you go to the gym not to have a big butt. So you can be like, oh, look at me. I have a big butt. Oh my God, do you like me? No, no, no. You go to the gym. So it's because you are going to work to have the body you want for yourself. Not a body to have people's attention or to be in people's DM. And because you go to the gym because gym has mental and physical benefits. You're going to go to the gym. You're going to be running right when you are sweating. You are, you are releasing all the negativity, all of those traumas, you are releasing negative energy by you running. You're going to be lifting weight so you can, you can get stronger. And you, you're not going to get stronger so you can fight with that dick, so you can fight against that dick. No, you're going to get stronger, right? So you can defend yourself. 
so you can protect yourself because if you are weak people are going to manipulate you people are going to abuse you and you know that because if you are weak people will come and try to take advantage of you but if you are strong physically and mentally nobody can tell you nothing so take yourself to the gym start lifting weights if you're thinking about if you're thinking about oh what are, what can i do for that dick oh how can i have that dick remove those thinking think about how can i go to the gym and have the body i want how can i use the gym as a source of motivation inspiration for me to keep going with my life how can i use the gym to be healthier to be wiser to be stronger how can i use the gym to build my self confidence because even if you don't believe it your image affect your self confidence if you don't like your body chances are like you're not going to have a high self confidence because if you wake up in a body you don't like you're going to be like oh oh my god again in this body and you're going to do and you're going to do almost the impossible to hide to change to torture your body just because you don't like your body guess what your body is not a trash can so instead of you thinking about that dick think about ways of making your body healthy give your body healthy food your body is not a trash can so stop giving your body trash food right and you go to the gym because you you can be here huh? you can be here oh i wish to have this body i wish to, no, no no stop wishing for a better body work for it hit the gym queen and be consistent in discipline and you could go you can go every day and you don't even you, and you don't even need to go to the gym to work out you can work out in my room and i have plenty videos at the workout videos that you can do at home in case you're looking for workout videos but again start tra start training your body start lifting weight because it's healthy you do don't you believe me set yourself to go to the gym for six weeks straight non-stop and see the difference you're gonna go to the gym you're gonna drink water and mind your business and that will take you far far in life more than that dick oh yeah you hear what i said another thing to do is <clears throat> spend money on your mental health spend money on your education spend money on your happiness spend money on your well-being spend money on you being healthy spend money on you loving your body spend money on you loving yourself spend money into you in your education because how many of you queens out here you're gonna spend a thousands thousands of dollars right in your nails eyelashes makeup the best dress the best heels the best makeup but how much money do you spend on your education how much money do you spend on you learning skills that can maybe build you a business maybe make you more money how much money do you spend on your mental health how much money do you spend not only in looking good but thinking good how much money do you spend in not only smelling good but feeling good how much money do you spend in not only looking good but actually being a good person how much money do you spend on that how much energy do you spend on that how much time do you spend on your mental health the same way you get excited you're going to have oh the new heels oh my god the makeup brand oh my god this dress oh my god i'm going to get my nails done right because you're going to make an appointment one month in advance one week in advance to get your nails done but why don't you set yourself habits that can allow you to accomplish your goals in in one year in five years in ten years why can you make yourself appointment for self-education appointment for self-love appointment for self-discipline appointment for self-consistency appointment for self-confidence appointment for self-love appointment for positivity appointment for education spend time and energy into you loving yourself because guess what having a perfect body does not guarantee you a happy life having the perfect body the body goes does not guarantee you a successful life but having a perfect mindset having a healthy mindset a strong mindset a wise mindset a resilient mindset can give you a successful life do you know why because your mindset your thoughts your belief system create the life you are living right now so if you are unhappy and miserable with the life you have right now change your mindset not the dick you are getting 
We continue. Because if you lack if you lack self confidence, that dick ain't gonna give you self confidence. If you do not love yourself, that dick is not gonna give you self love. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Do you know why? Because nobody is going to do for you what you cannot do for yourself. And because happiness is not outside of you, happiness is within you. If you hate yourself, if you hate your body, if you hate who you are as a person, having that dick ain't gonna change it. But you learning to love yourself, you healing yourself from your past traumas or whatever went wrong in the past, or, or you healing yourself from all the things that broke you, that's a 10 out of 10. So queen, no dick is more important than you loving yourself. No dick is more important than you waking up every day and loving who you are. No dick is more important than your mental health. No dick is more important than your well-being, than your safety, than your security. No dick is more important than that. And I, and I, and I, I already mentioned you things that are sweeter than dick. Self-love is sweeter and more powerful than dick. You being an educated person is more sweeter than dick. You've been consistent and disciplined into creating the life you want, into building your business, into accomplishing your goals, your dreams is more sweeter than the dig. Right? You invested in your education, invested in your mental health, investing in your happiness, investing in your mentality is way more sweeter than dig. Because the, the, that dig, you were not born with that dig. And you are not going to die when you think that, oh, I want to get that. No, no, no. But you were born with yourself and you are going to die with yourself. So make sure every single day you wake up and you choose to create and you choose to build the life you want for yourself. You are a priority. Love yourself before loving somebody else. Respect, support yourself before supporting, respecting somebody else. And you hear, oh no, I'm going to do this because I want to be in somebody's DMs. Oh, I'm going to sexualize my body. Oh my God. Are you a sex toy? No. So why would you sexualize your body, queen? Why? For what? Are you? And, and also instead of you looking to get dick, look to get yourself together. Mm -hmm. Look for ways to help yourself, to heal yourself, to empower yourself, to educate yourself. Because you are so much more than sex. You are so much more than the person you are dating. You are so much more than what that boy or your ex can say about you. You are so much more than the boys that want to fuck you, have a one night stand with you, want to marry you. You are so much more than that. You are so much more than what anybody can say about you, queen. You are so much more than that. And there are far away things that are more important than you focusing on who you are going to fuck today or who you fucked yesterday. And also you have to be cautious to which type of dick you are getting because guess what? Sex is exchange of energy. The person you fuck today can be the reason you are depressed tomorrow. The person you fuck today can be the reason you are failing tomorrow. The person you fuck today can be the reason you are depressed tomorrow. The person you fuck today can be the reason you are unsuccessful tomorrow. The person you fuck today can be the reason you are broken tomorrow. Do you know why? Because sex is exchange of energy. Every time you are fucking somebody, if you are having sex with somebody, you are having sex with that person's angels and that person's demons. I'm going to go on a recap. There are things that are far sweeter, that bring more happiness, more joy, more money than dick. Self-love. You educating yourself. You've been consistent and disciplined into building your dreams, accomplishing your goals, having the life you want for yourself. You spending money, attention, and energy into your mentality. Your mentality, your thoughts, your emotions. Because you can, you, we have people who focus so much, a lot, on their looks, but they pay zero attention to which type of mindset they have, which type of heart they have, which type of energy they bring to the table. And again, Queen, you are so much more than what anybody can say. If you want to, and, and if you want to put your time into something more than thinking of the dick, put your time into thinking about the life you want for yourself. 
Put your time into being alone, being perfectly okay with being single, being perfectly okay with not being in nobody's DM, being perfectly okay with you being alone, being in your water, minding your business, and drinking water. Love yourself, queen. Be, if you have to be alone, that, there is nothing wrong with you being alone. Nothing wrong with you being single. Nothing wrong. Because guess what? Your worth, your potential does not increase or decrease based on the amount of people you are going to fuck. And by the way, don't get me wrong. I'm not here to judge you or to tell you, oh, you should fuck or you, oh, why you fuck. No, no, no. I'm not judging you. It's your body. You do whatever the heck you want with it. I'm just here sharing information, sharing my opinion, sharing my advice. You can use it or you can leave it. It's perfectly okay. Because do not, do not live your life based on what I say or based on what my videos. Live your life based on your own terms, based on your own beliefs, based on your own standards, based on your own choices. Don't be at all because of Christina. No, 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 Christina. Do not listen to me. Do your own, do your own research. Because... You have to be able to live your life based on your own choices, your own mindset, your own belief, your own standards. That way, whatever you do and whatever outcomes or whatever are the consequences of your action, there is nobody to blame but yourself. There is things that are far more important than dick queen. And your mental health, your education, your well-being, your happiness are, for, are far more important. The dick. If this video was helpful, let me know in the comment. Share with anybody. Let me know what do you think. And again, no dick is more important than you loving yourself. No dick is more important than you being educated, you being strong, you being wise, you being kind, you being positive. No dick is more important than you loving yourself, you waking up every day, feeling confident about the queen, feeling confident about the person you are or the person you are becoming. No dick is more important than your mental health. Because, I'm going to say it again. If you do not love yourself, that dick ain't going to change it. If you do not support, empower yourself, that dick ain't going to change it. You are the only one who can change your life. You are the only one who can make you happy, who can make you successful, who can heal you, who can empower you. Because guess what, queen? Nobody is going to do for you what you cannot do for yourself. Subscribe and see you in my next video.